Hi, welcome to Intv.com. Intv.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to Intv.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to give you a list of 45 Java Persistent API interview questions, JPA interview questions. So the idea here is you can, I'm just giving you a reference so that you can start preparing for your JPA interview, Java interview. Okay, let's see the questions. What is JPA and its key components? What are the advantages of JPA, Java Persistent API? What are some of the main features of Java Persistent API? What is the difference between persistent.xml and hibernate.cfgxml file? What is an entity manager? What is an entity? It's like a POJO uh, corresponding to a table, you will have an entity. Why to use a JPA? It is a wrapper class. It will, you have to deal only with the Java object zero. You, sh you can you, you can forget about uh, dealing with SQL queries. What is embedded embeddable classes? What is a persistent fields? What is persistent properties? Explain the life cycle of a JP entity like pre post. Um, there are a lot of life cycle you know, involved in the JP entity. Uh, pre update, okay, post update, something like that. What is JPQL? explain uh, example of an entity with embedded class how to insert a record mechanism using jpa can you write a uh, insert uh, how can we rec uh, insert a record using jpa uh, how to fetch a record using named query and the 16th question is very very important what is explain at entity annotations and at table annotations what is the difference and why do when when we will be using it what are the different types of multiplicity uh, multiplicity in uh, entity relationships like uh, one to one explain one to one mapping relationship in java jpa um, explain one to many mapping relationship in jpa one or uh, explain many to one mapping relation in relationship in jpa many to many mapping relationship in jpa so you can give four examples you can be prepared with four examples to explain this okay what is the difference between join column and mapped by join column will be uh, presented in the owner uh, owner table mapped by is like uh, bidirectional whenever uh, concept of bidirectional comes into picture you will use be you will be using mapped by that means you are saying that can you use the same uh, uh, foreign key for uh, for bidirectional the other way uh, getting the data for example uh, college and students so one college has multiple students so using the student also I can get from which college he belongs to that's where mapped by comes into picture when to override equals and hash code method in an entity class very important if you have a, um, two fields for a for a key then you need a hash code and equals method explain unidirectional bidirectional relationship when to use and what are its benefits what are the different types of cascade operations for entities explain cascade all cascade means when parent is affected should i include the child or not for example i am uh, deleting the parent should i delete the child also or not so cascade all means whatever parent whatever you're doing for parent do apply it for child also what is mapped super class when to use it its benefit uh, mapped user super classes like um, i have common attributes like uh, uh, say name uh, or address address for a person address uh, in, a, in, a, in a in a parent class but i don't want to create a table for that class then you can mark that parent class as a map to super class there won't be any table for this parent class but only the child class will in inherit these attributes okay what are the different types of entity inheritance mapping strategies single table joint table and table per class explain single table per class hierarchy strategy explain uh, table per concrete strategy concrete class strategy joint cl subclass strategy so please be prepared for the pre these three examples what is compound primary key keys can we have an entity map to more than one database table yes it's possible you can explain annotation uh, at the secondary table what is the annotation you what is the annotation you should denote that field that is larger object that is lob you can use what if i want to want to use java person api outside of a java java j2g platform okay what is the j JPA entity primary key explain the lifecycle methods for JPA entity like pre persist post persist pre remove post remove pre update okay these are the methods 
uh, what is JPA named query what are the different types of generation strategies for for the values of primary keys like auto strategy identity strategy sequence strategy so these are the strategies to generate your primary key for your ID for your table auto what is auto generation strategy identity generation strategy sequence generation strategy and table strategy and one more uh, important question is explain sequence generator in JPM just giving an example here how do I uh, generate this I, how do I uh, implement sequence generator in in my code explain index management in JPA so these are the annotations corresponding to this so the idea here is just to give a start for you it will be a guide these questions will become a guide for you so you can start preparing uh, answers for these questions I'll be posting some more videos of answers for these questions as a video in future uh, videos I'll be posting um, hope this we hope this video is really useful for your interview preparation thank you and all the best